How do? Dean from Maven BJJ, back with another uh, lockdown video with my mate Sebastian here. Sebastian may look like he's giving me a loving hug. Sebastian is trying to kill me. I think he's had enough of me uh, abusing him in these videos. So now he's getting his own back. So let's talk about when someone has your back, hooks in, what is the defense, okay? Soon as someone has taken your back, now remember, I'm doing this from a sit-up position because this is a, uh, easier for you to see, okay? But immediately, I need to be worried that he's gonna choke me, okay? This arm that goes over, when it goes under and over, it connects like this, this he has a seatbelt control on me. Now, I need to be completely aware that if I do not control this top arm, it could easily catch me in the neck and then he starts getting the choke, okay? So my first thought needs to be defending that. So a lot of time, depending on the partner, um, you're not always gonna have a very good defense if you do two, uh, one on one with these arms, okay? So we always shout out two on one, okay? Which means I take two hands on top of his one. Same time, I could also, to make sure this arm isn't out doing anything, is if I'm controlling this arm, if I'm not controlling this one, he could easily switch this round at any point to choke me with this arm. So I need to defend myself against these arms first. So if I've got this underneath my armpit, while this is a good control to stay on my back, I don't worry about the back control right now. I have to worry about getting choked. So this arm is gonna hug my side, pinning that bottom arm in place, just so he can't bring it up and choke me with it. This arm is gonna, at the same time, hold two on one on here, okay? So this is not just holding it in place. What I like to do, or what you should really be doing, is getting it away from your neck, okay? If it's up here and I just hold on to it, he can slowly start choking me. So I want to be pulling down, okay? I will pull his, his arm in the downward direction or grabbing his elbow and pulling it in a little bit. It might be feeling like you're getting it a bit closer, but at least in this tight position, I've stopped myself from getting choked. Now, immediately from here, I should be thinking, what is my position? Right now, he's got two underhooks and we're sat up talking to the camera. So ideally, if we're ever in this position, I have to decide of a direction to fall into. So when I say a direction to fall into, we will never be sat up like this. This is only for demonstration purposes. Most of the time, we're gonna be in this position here. Okay, so while I'm going to the back, he's got control. I've got two ways I can fall, this way or that way, okay? So if I did that, I would go into a specific direction. Now, what we need to take into consideration from this position, if I sat this up, just to make it easy. So I do not really want to fall into this arm here. I don't want to go this way into the choking arm, okay? Because once I go into the choking arm and I'm in this direction here, I've got nowhere to go and it just it helps him sink that chunk in, okay? I've got really nothing I can do from this. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you're just gonna have to give, do what you're given. Okay, but ideally, if you can do this, you're given the option, you're in this position, I have to decide where I'm gonna fall into. I'm gonna fall into this side, where the choking arm is not. So I'm gonna fall into this direction here. Just because when I'm in this position, I can start shimmying myself out towards the ground, okay? Now, let me do this from a different angle. So, when I'm in this position, I need to think which one's the strong, which one's the weak. Now, don't get it twisted. If I go this way, he has over submissions, okay? I'm, he has my back. I am not in a nice position right now. He can easily choke me, he can go for an arm bar, he can go for a bow and arrow choke. There's a lot of things he can transition to pretty much a few different deadly positions that I don't wanna mess around in here, but I'm on the defensive and you have to have that systematic approach of getting out, otherwise you're gonna panic and give him all the opportunity to capitalize on the position he's been given. So, I don't mean given, you earned it Sebastian, you earned this position. So, ideally, I am defending, got my grips on the inside, holding the arm down. I'm gonna go onto, from here, if I'm in the air like this, ideally what I wanna do is I want to not just be on the ground here, okay? This is not giving him any um, resistance. I'm gonna post onto my feet, and I'm gonna put my hips up, and what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure onto him. From here, he's not, he's not in a bad position, definitely. 
But right now, there's not really too many things he can really get me with if I've got a good control of this arm for the choke. He wants me to fall into a direction because then that gives him a better chance to work for something. I want to go towards away from the choking arm towards the non-choking arm. So instead of just falling into this way, because it's not gonna work, I have to shimmy my hips up and I need to kind of put my bum on his leg, okay? So shift, shift, shift. And I get into this position here, okay? If I can pin with my gigantic ass this guy's leg to the ground, this is brilliant. A lot of the time, he's gonna keep adjusting, he's gonna keep adjusting. So sometimes I've gotta keep walking the leg out till I get to this position here. He's still holding on tight, and I'm also not letting him choke me. So, once we get into this position, all I'm looking to do is to get my shoulder to the ground. Once I get to this position, he can't go to my back because the ground is now protecting me. He's still got this position in. This is where we've got to get quick. So from here, I'm still putting weight down on his leg. I need to adjust my hips outside. Okay, so if this is just a slight hip adjustment, or if you can manage to get a position to shrimp out, okay? You get up across the arm, you've got, this becomes a race against time. He might just come onto mat. So I need to, as soon as I hit, come up, get into a position. It becomes a bit of a scramble, okay? But if I admit not doing that properly, say we're in this position, he's still got the grips, on me, I've come up, he's got the hooks, I need to transition, 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 until I feel that leg get pinned down, then I go onto my shoulder, strip my hips away from his leg, push into him, and get into that side control, okay? That is probably the fundamental way of getting out of back control. Always think, how do I get my shoulders to the ground so I can start shrimping, moving away, and then getting away from those chokes. When we go into that as also, it becomes a little bit of a rush up. If you're doing it, if you're not keeping him pinned, if you're not keeping him taking him down, he could take him out. By the end of the day, back control is pretty nasty. So sometimes you, you just have to go straight into defending from that, okay? Um, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks a